Hi everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here with a little bit something, well something a little different today. I'm still doing a kit review, but it's going to be a um, kit that's not a monthly kit. This is a Project Life kit that is offered through Stampin' Up! And I purchased a current one, as well as one that they had clearanced out from last year, just so you can kind of see what comes in the kit. Plus, once I saw something was on clearance, you know, have to grab it. So I'll give you all the details of it. Um, this is not a monthly subscription one though. Like I said, I think there's five or six that are offered right now and I don't know how frequently they come out with them, but um, I would think it would be safe to say that they come out with something new every time they come out with a new catalog, but don't quote me on that because I don't know that 100%. So what this is, is it's a pocket page kit basically. It is through Project Life and Stampin' Up! So the products should fit in any Project Life pocket page protector most of the time any of the things are standard anyways or at least close enough that you can make them work in different page protectors but I do just want to point that out that it is Project Life branded. Um, they come really nicely packaged and I'll share that with you. These are the cards, this is the card kit, this is one kit and then this is an accessory pack that goes with it. So the card pack is $16. And then the accessory pack can range anywhere from $10 to $18. I think there was a $10 one, a $16 one, and an $18 one, just depending on which collection you pick. Um, shipping, of course, is going to depend on your total order. I'm looking at my little spreadsheet that I make, and I'll make sure to link that in the Google. My, it's a Google document that I have available, so you'll make sure to link that up. There is no release date, like I said, because it's not a monthly kit. There's no specific shipping date because it's not a monthly kit. It just ships with your regular order whenever you place an order. So it really just depends on whenever you purchase. The card collection comes with 100 double-sided cards in three different sizes. 4x6, 4x4, and 3x4. And then um, the accessory packs, from what I can tell, it ranges. I looked at all of them, but they range somewhere between 7 and 12 additional items. And that's where the pricing can be a little bit different, too. Um, the price ranges from 10 to 18 so the ones that have a higher number of additional products are probably going to be your $18 ones. And the ones that have your lower additional products are going to be your $10 ones. So just kind of pay attention to what you're purchasing as you look at it. Um... Let's see, there are multiple different collections to pick from. They have older ones clearanced out, like I said, and I'll tell you which one's clearance and which one is the newer one that I have purchased. And then also, just to let you know, which I thought was really interesting if you're really into Stampin' Up!, every time you go in to purchase one of these, in the description it tells you what colors from their other products coordinate with this, like so you can get the coordinating inks or the coordinating um, cardstock or whatever. It tells you what coordinates with each of these, and even the accessory packs had um, some of them had different coordinating colors than this than the card um, card pack, and I'm guessing it's because sometimes the accessories are a little bit different. Um, and then also international orders need to be placed from a demonstrator from your country. So just make sure if you are purchasing from somewhere other than the U.S. that you are looking for a demonstrator in your country. And then of course the pricing would be different as well. I'm sure. Uh, probably. Okay, let's get right into this. So, the, I got two different ones. One is life uh, moments like these. And then one of these are memories in the making. And the Memories in the Making is the closeout one right now, and then the Moments Like These is the current one. So let me show you what came in here. And as I said, the packaging is pretty good. I left it in here so you can see how it comes. Look, this alone is a nice box, and then it's got a box inside of the box. And then a box inside of that. So it's really packaged well. You're not going to get, this is not going to come damaged just gonna say it and I thought this is super cute look at how it's packaged and then of course the accessory pack so this is the project life one this is the um, what did I say this was moments like these you've got your little box and then you've got the way that it's set up now I've never watched sorry I thought my camera cut off I've never watched an unboxing of this so I really can't tell you what other people say about it or I've never watched an unboxing from Stampin' Up but um, I thought it was really cool I'll share with you how what my thoughts were and how I use it or how I plan to use it um, but I thought this was really cool this is a little storage box that I believe all the accessories will fit in so let's open it up and see what we've got here and again this is the current one one of the current ones that's available and it is moments like these. This is the card pack. And it's 100 cards, 3x4, 4x6, and 4x4. Four four. And I did not get any of the coordinating papers. You definitely could, or coordinating inks. 
Maybe I'll use my tweezers. Four by four, and it's got a little label that you can put on. Oh, there's, okay, I don't exactly know where the label goes, so maybe I should check that out. I'll find out where the label goes on here. So let me share the cards with you. And you can probably hear Kaylin playing in the background. He's playing with his Legos. Okay, I went ahead and stopped it to see where these go. So this label, if you look at your box, it's got all these geometric shapes, but there's one spot right here that's big enough for this label. So it goes right here on the corner of this box. Just like so, if I can place it properly. There we go, just like that. So it's labeled, so when it's sitting on your shelf, it'll look just like that, or this way, depending on how you want to open it. Just like that. So I really like that. And I suppose you could probably put the other label somewhere else on here. But for me, I really only need it on one spot, I think. All right, so these are the four by six cards, and they are double-sided. I believe it's the same pattern on both sides, roughly. We'll look at them. I always use the um, horizontal orientation though, so that's primarily what I'll show you. I picked this one because I really liked the colors. So bright. Yeah, from what I could tell, okay, this one's a little bit different. It says Weekend Adventures, and then it just has the little label there. Same thing. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so what they did is they gave you a horizontal and a vertical orientation, and then this on opposite sides. Seems weird. Why didn't they just put it on the opposite? These days... About You, Three Things I Love, One, Two, Three... I'm just one, two, three on the back. It doesn't have the about you three things I love. And the same thing here. Just a label. Label. Label, but different colors. It's the weekend. Let's go. That's what that says. Why does it say the weekend? Let's go. Hooray for every day. Red, some arrows, A, B, C, D again, and then the last one. So those are those four by six ones. We are here, just the label on the back. And these don't matter, the orientation, because it's four by four. So a heart or heart, watching, listening, reading, eating, wearing, making, thinking around here arrows hooray for the everyday again hooray for the everyday they're very similar I really like this I really like um, neutrals and red I like this I think it's very cute these are the four by six and then you've got a whole bunch of three by four and I believe okay you are here we were here, same thing. There's a good mix between horizontal and vertical orientation. And I feel like, let me see. Yes, okay, so what I was wanting to check was the thickness of the paper. I feel like the Project Life Stampin' Up cards are a little bit thicker than the Project Life um, branded cards. Hooray for Everyday Moments. There's a lot of um, very specific ones, and there's usually about two cards that are almost exactly the same, just some are horizontal, some are vertical. Not always, but most of the time. But what I've noticed is that one side may be specific and have writing, and then the other side 
may have something more generic. See, that one said sparkle on one side, and then the other side was more generic. Today was amazing, hectic, epic, the best, memorable. Yes. This photo. Note to self. Heart this. Heart this. Captured. Same one. Quotable you. Adventures. This is the good life. This month in review. Hello. There are a lot of cards in here, and I apologize if flipping through the cards is not something you like, but when I'm doing an unboxing, I really like to share all of that. So if you want to skip ahead a few minutes, this week in review. If you want to skip ahead a few minutes just so you don't have to see this, then feel free to. Moments like this one. And the clearance one, I'm not going to go through current faves. I'm not going to go through all of the cards, but I am going to show you what you get in it. And the reason I say that is because I don't know how long it's going to be available. I don't know if it's even, it was available when I looked a few minutes ago, but by the time this video actually goes up, because I record them a few days in advance, it may not be available anymore. So I'm going to share it with you, but I won't do a full flip through of the cards like I am right now. And then that's it. So those are all the 4x6, 3x4, and 4x4 cards. You get a lot. I mean, it's 100 cards. That's a lot to work with. You can do a lot of pages with that. And for it to be $18, no, what was that, $18? No, $16 for this. And then I believe this was, I don't think I got the $18 kit. Let's look. This is the accessory pack. And it comes with a really piece, uh, thick piece of cards um, chipboard to keep that flat. All right, so this one comes with some gold foiled alphas. And actually, okay, my first thought is, wow, there's a lot of space between these alphas. It seems like a lot of waste. But you could probably take your small heart punch and punch out some gold um, hearts with this, and then they would be adhesive backed. That's actually probably what I will do. You get some washi tape. Let's see what it says. Not a whole lot, but then again, you get so much on a washi tape roll anyway, I don't know that you would need a ton. Because you probably, this is probably plenty to work with a couple pages. It says, the weekend, it's the weekend, let's go. Explore new adventures. Yes, yes to adventures. Uh, start a new day. That's what that says. You've got some gold and a little bit of like a mint green sequence with some little tiny gold paper clips, which I think are so cute. These remind me of the little doodle bug design ones. You can see them right there. You've got some two by two cards, and you don't have to purchase the accessory pack. This is totally optional. I just wanted to have coordinating supplies. You get a handful of these little two by two cards, and they're the same thing, same coordinating designs, um, same sentiments, just a different orientation, different, um, style because they're smaller, different size. I like that one's more of a generic, it's not quite so themed. And even the ones that are themed, you could use for a number of things. Moments like this. I also really like the scripty, scripty font, and I like the sketchiness of some of the things. Like I like the sketchy stars here. We are the dreamers of dreams. Hooray for everyday moments and you are here. So you get a handful of two by two cards as well. You get some wood veneer. You could use either side. This has more of a burned wood look and this side is not the burned wood look. But none of the, none of the things that are in here are matter if it's front or back. So you could really, depending on the, the style, you were looking for, you could really use either one. And as you can see, they're just punching out real easily. It's in a little plastic piece, but they're just punching out extremely easily. Oh, we got some gold foiled cards, like embossed cards. We have four of these. Find Joy in the Ordinary. Just a little, they're single-sided. Um, dash lines, the same arrows, and then Love Without Limits, Dream Without Fear. I like that. 
And then we've got two sticker sheets here, one with labels, arrows. This one has gold foiling and this one does not. But there's a lot of stickers to work with. So this is what you get. And this, to me, this is a really good deal. This was, so we've got $16 here. And then I want to say this was like, I wish I had it. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Okay, this was a $10 accessory pack here. So this is a good um, a good uh, look at what you would get. This is the cheapest one you would get. So anything more, you would get even more product. So I'm actually really happy with the amount of product that you get here. I would add probably a few things, just depending on if I'm looking for dimensional things or non-dimensional things. You get a good variety here. Um, sometimes I like things a little bit more embellished, but I think these are really nice, and I like the quality of these. So let's see if it fits in our little packet here. Let's just see. And obviously, these have to go here. You can put a pin there. Yep, totally fits. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And then it just fits right in here. Yep fits right in there and you've got a whole little kit ready to go so the accessory pack fits in here and there's I mean there's plenty of room the cards don't move a whole lot but if you had anything else you wanted to slide in here like your photos you could definitely slide those in there as well all right so that is the one that's available right now so let me share with you the one that's that's clearanced out that may not be available for very long just in case you want to kind of get a look at a different one same nice packaging oops Let's open this right side up. And this one has a different look to it. It's a different color scheme. I'll flip through them. I'm not going to show you all the cards, but I will just kind of fan through them so you can get a, a feel for the color scheme. Same exact number of cards, 100 cards. This one is, that was moments like this. This one is memories in the making. All right, so these are the cards. Again, we've got our label. You get two labels. I haven't quite figured out the second one yet. I suppose, if, like I said, if you want to put it on the lid, you could. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Put my label on my box. Because you know I will get this very confused. It's just what I do. All right, so I've got my label there. I don't need my little spacer there anymore. Okay, so this is just to look at it. Endless summer, hello spring, good times, moments like these, this happened, bucket list, happiness is. So, I mean, you get a good look at what's some pinks, some aquas, black and white, yellow, a lot brighter looking than the other one is. Okay, so that's those. The big day, noted, lazy day, summer loving, play day, party time, there's no place I'd rather be, here we go, you and me. Oh, I had a, uh, an excellent day. That's the only really themed card I've seen other than summer and spring. I like those. Some watercolor ice cream cones. So those are those. And then also, oh, that one seems different. Hmm, okay. Seems like the box is slightly different. I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> they don't seem to be fitting in there the same way. And again, as you can kind of see, highlights currently right now, happy thoughts. Okay, now I'm curious, is the box different? Oh, you know what it is? What? I have less... All right, this one has less three by four cards, but more four by six and four by four. So it doesn't fit in the box the same way. That's interesting. Still 100 cards, but the number of each size of cards is a little bit different. So that's something to think about. I did not pay attention to that. I'm sure it listed that whenever I was purchasing it, but I did not pay attention to that. So that is something to note, just in case you are 
more adamant on getting three by four cards versus four by six. Now I will say this is a lot of four by six cards. So if you are one of those, um, depends on the kit I get, but sometimes, bless you. Sometimes it seems like you don't get enough four by six cards and you get too many three by four cards. So this is a little bit of a different, different makeup. So if you are always short on four by six cards, this might be a kit to look at. And again, this is Memories in the Making and it was clearance on Stampin' Up's website. So we've got two three by four wood grain, not wood grain, not wood grain, but um, wood veneer. So you could punch out the middle or you could leave the middle in there. You could back it with something else. Like, this is cute. Loving this. You could put that right there. Um, and then you could use this on another card. And then the same thing with the ampersand one. Or you could leave it together. I think the ampersand is going to be a little bit harder to punch out than the heart was. And then we've got some other wood veneer pieces here. You could even use this as a mask if you wanted to. Got some watercolor elements here. Camera, speech bubble, heart, ampersand, another speech bubble, a circle, a geotag, a label, ice cream, star, and then we've got an ice cream cone. We've got some little epoxy triangles. Got our two by two cards yet again. And just to note, by the way, on the labels, there's even some ones that don't have anything written on them, so you could use those as an embellishment, too. Same thing, same colors, everything. We've got some stickers here. Oh, gold foiled vellum pieces, an ice cream cone, and dots and stars. We've got ooh, gold foil stickers. Those are fun. And then other stickers. These are some thick stickers. That's what just made me stop and look. Some seriously thick stickers. And then we've got our alphabet. We've got two black and two white. This is a skinnier font and this is more of a, a blockier font. All right, and that is everything that comes in here. So those are the Stampin' Up! kits that I purchased. Again, this one is on clearance right now. The original one I showed, which was Moments Like These, that is available right now in the regular store. Um, and I will make sure to link that Google document in the description box below if that is something that you would like to go see. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate all the support, and I should be back soon with something more to share with you. All right, guys, bye.